these metal plates, do you know if those are electric wires or if those are wiring of any kind? Or and watch how close we're getting to the REM pod. Watch how close we're getting to the REM pod. Um, my guess is maybe one. I would say one. Let me show you. Probably phone and so you see it's. 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 
Okay, so this is the process. You turn it on, it gives you that low tone, it blinks, it then says, I'm about to ca calibrate. The next clip you're about to see happened barely a minute later. Uh, it's another EVP clip, and you're gonna see how little sometimes you have to do anything to a, to a clip. I'm going to ask one more time, can you please step as far away from this device as you can? Did you hear And uh, I heard a very quick. Yeah, I heard blue, please. I feel like I heard two things here. I feel like I heard no. I heard no pretty clearly. And then kind of like Yeah, I heard the whispery. Yeah, I heard the no. Yeah. All I did to this clip, by the way, was boost the audio. That's mm -hmm. all I did to get this EDP to come out. I'm going to ask one more time. Can you please step as far away from this device as you can? Pretty clear. And uh, just let it reset to blue, please. Oh, I, I heard the whispers underneath my voice. Yeah, right? what was that? Yeah. That, I, that I didn't catch. I just caught that now. And sometimes uh, this happens when we yeah. review evidence yeah. like this. Yeah. Things will pop in different ways. And sometimes it's a matter of you get so close to like the audio that you're listening to that you miss something. things. So like, I, I pretend to miss things so T can find them in my audio. Yeah, yeah. right? I mean, we could, <laughs> we could play this song almost, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and, yeah and, and that's the thing. It, it wasn't until I was looking at this, at this clip that I was thinking to myself, Wait a second. It was working fine on the second floor. What happened between the second mm. and the third floor? And it was I just changed from the second to the third yeah. floor. And it worked fine the next day when we went to Crescent. But again, it's one of those things where I I just found that incredible that, you know, it's going off, it's going off. And again, when people ask me, so what's the scariest thing about um, about paranormal investigating? I go evidence review. Mm. Because I didn't hear anybody say no mm. in the time. And we caught that on two different devices. I find that really fascinating that we were able to catch that on on two different devices from such distance and um and it was it was it was very clear and very loud so you'll have to do me a favor and see if the whisperiness was caught under your voice on the i'm going to do that to... i am i am i don't think it was caught on the second one mm -hmm. but i'm going I'm to go back and see if i can't listen to it yeah. sometimes that does happen though where evps will be nested in conversation mm. and those can also be the creepiest ones um, we've caught uh, in Gettysburg, yeah. we caught somebody humming while we're talking. It was like they were singing a lullaby. Yeah. And we were in the basement of the Jenny Wade house where they kept her body after she had been killed by a Confederate soldier. Yeah. It's, it's hard to explain. Sometimes that, that, that does happen. You can be just having a, a general conversation and that unseen voice will insert itself because it wants to be part of the conversation mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So now we get to what I call the train mystery segment. And this starts from the preliminary investigation and this features clips from, I think, just about every floor and every investigation. Uh, and it, to me, has become my new obsession to find out as much as I can about what happened. So let's start with the very beginning and Rachel was there. Uh, this, this is the is daytime. This is, yes. yeah. That's the other thing that we've also come to, uh, we've come around on. Ghosts don't necessarily keep a time clock. Mm. Just because it's nighttime doesn't mean ghosts are like, okay, I gotta punch in. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're around us all the time. And this was during the daytime. It's a preliminary investigation. We have the REM pod set up uh, at, on the floor of the women's bathroom and a train is pulling in and here's what happened. And watch how close we're getting to the REM pod. Watch how close we're getting to the REM pod. Like 
Because yeah. <laughs> as the train's pulling in, the REM pod is going off, uh, going off rapidly. Now, again, this is the preliminary investigation, and we picked up two EVPs. I'm going downstairs for sure. Mm -hmm. But before we go, mm -hmm. you could say your name or names is this donkey red light. And then we're going to go. So I'm going to have a quick one. And you can share your names. And again, it's real thin. It's real thin. I'm outside. That's why you hear that, yeah. that second yes. voice. So that that was what that was what the that was the original audio. This is with for sure. And this is what we're hearing. Oh, before we go, this is what we heard. You could say your name or names is this donkey red light, and then we're gonna go. Quite. Yeah. Which, you know, it. Uh, Edwin was one of the the boys, and and then, the so that's the first time we hear Edwin, and then this was during the private investigation. So we've got the REM pod, and we get Edwin, as an EVP on the preliminary. Then this right here, this is the um, this is the portal, and this was on the second floor. Pip is filming with Ghost Tube, and this is what we picked up. Okay, you're all sounds like you're all trying to talk at once. Just okay. taking turns. Take turns. Yeah. All right. That's definitely Edwin. Edwin. And then I went on ahead and I put in the subtitles for the stuff that we heard uh, also at that, at that same time. Nice job with the subtitles, by the way. Thank you. Okay. You're all, sounds like you're all trying to talk at once. Just yeah, taking turns. Take turns. Help. All right. <laughs> Edwin. So we got we got the REM pod. We've got an EVP of Edwin. We now have a portal box with Edwin, and then um, we have this. This is a compilation. This is a long compilation, and I'm going to talk through uh, talk you through most of it. But then I'm just going to go quiet on the last clip because it's the last clip that really made me go. There's something there. Have There's I seen something this? there. You have not seen this. Ooh, so here I we go. That. So as I'm setting up, um, you're gonna see you're gonna see T nerd out a little bit because he thinks he's replicated what happened in the bathroom. Before I turn, before we go lights out, um, the last time a train was here, we had a red pod in the windowsill. It was popping off the left and right. So I just wanted to see if it would happen again. Um, my, my Mel meter, which is a REM pod. Hope it's phrase of terms. We'll see if it happens again. There's just another call of the team. Team, this is second floor. Are we ready to go? Friends pod hit second floor. Trains here. <laughs> I was so excited. I was so excited, but wait. Lights out. Was there a train outside the window at that time? The train was coming in, just like last time. Okay. I, was, I was very excited about this, but so, like I said, I'm going I'm to be. Do you mind if I get close enough to this? Just real quick. We are lights out over. That was me. Now that could have been lights out over and out. <laughs> so how a red pod works, if everybody wants to get a close, closer look at it, how do you know how that works? There's one more thing I want to try. 
It's the second floor, over. That could be the walkie-talkie. Yeah. It is the walkie-talkie, T. It is the walkie-talkie. Uh, and this is what I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the RF. And then it comes quiet for just five minutes. Every time I use uh, the walkie talkie, uh, the REM pod would go off. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And if nothing happens, that's all sorts So then this is, this I thought was fascinating. Train's coming in. Walkies are off. Walkies are off. Train is coming in. Watch the REM pod. Look at that. <laughs> Now I've moved up to the third floor in this compilation, and I, I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop it, but now I'm stopping it. Um, <laughs> you're gonna see me circle in the back the, the mail meter. I have set up my mail meter, which is my REM pod. I've set that up in the back, and I'm now focused on the, on the, on the, um, <clears throat> on the, uh, on the spirit box. Watch what happens. going off. And look at where it's placed. Back corner on the third floor. And it's still popping. There are no walkie-talkies near it. There's nothing near it to set it off. And what sets that off? What was that? What sets that off? Um, the walkie-talkie, what I thought originally when I was when I was down in the, mm -hmm. in the women's bathroom, I thought it was the train coming in, but it was the walkie-talkie setting yeah. it off. So I proved that. And then when uh, when the train came ping, came back, it didn't go off at all. But then the train was coming in on the on this later on that night, mm -hmm. and that thing is going off. And, and, there's and that responds to what? Oh, that it's the same thing. It's an EMF reader. Oh, okay. Or, or, it, sorry, it creates an EMF field, and if something breaks that field, it breaks. Okay, it okay. breaks it. So it's not motion or something. It's not like motion. That. Well, it can be motion if yeah, it goes if something into the passes field. through okay. it. And, um, but it wouldn't be like the floor might be moving a little no. bit from the train. Mm -hmm. Nothing okay. like that. And I find that absolutely fascinating because when we had that happen, my wife found this article about four youths that are killed on a Manassas crossing. And this was uh, on Christmas Eve, 1922. Four youths, Taylor Weir and John Good of Manassas and George Spencer and Edwin Freeman of the Plains were killed on a Manassas crossing late Saturday night by a freight train. A freight engine. Engine was backing to its cars after taking water, and the boys who were riding an automobile did not observe it. The motor car was struck about the middle and was rolled for about 75 yards. Um, now I know some of you are already familiar with this mm -hmm. with this incident, right? Yeah. Um, you can't make that up. Mm. We got we got a we got a REM pod hit. I thought I debunked it, but then we got a REM pod hit again, and we and we almost missed it. And of course, we had our REM pod hits down there. Yeah. And Similarly, that same night, our REM pod had went off in the bathroom area when the train was coming through. Each time we were there, yeah. And we've been to other areas where there are trains close by, mm -hmm. and like your fishing hole, like my fishing hole, mm -hmm. and the train can roll through, and that REM pod is quiet. Right. Now you start playing harmonica and do a little jig, and that's that different. Will go that's entirely off. different. <laughs> but then it, it's so but, it's. But the fact that the REM pod was yeah. in that back corner that you that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, Mika, and the fact that the fact that we have seen reactions to when the train is coming in and the REM pod going mm -hmm. off, and we have this history, mm -hmm. I find that. Say it. Say it. Compelling. Yeah, I do. I do. And I want to say, uh, just a thought crossed my mind, too. Maybe it's not even, say, we'll just say Edwin for the sake of conversation. He might not be, like, interacting with it, but maybe he is having this trauma response to the train coming through. Right. And there's just so much energy, so much emotional energy mm -hmm. that it is interacting with that static field. Could be Just a thought. Just a thought. I like to think about these things a lot.
Well, now we've come to the big question of the night, but you already know this. I think it's pretty clear. You, you haunted. haunted. <laughs> but let's talk about what is haunting the candy factory. Is it malicious? No. Not even in the slightest. Is it prickly? Is it um, sometimes a little um, impertinent? Yes. <laughs> it told me to F it. Only to me, apparently. But yeah, but I mean. Is it a single entity? I don't think so. Absolutely I not. personally do not think so. I would put so. money on that. I, would, I do think Edwin's there. I mean, and I, and I, when, when, when we go to investigations, we try to keep an open mind of what's there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. rarely, I don't think we have ever said, this person's there. I've mm -hmm. ne we have never said that. Yeah. But I think in this one, the evidence points towards Edwin being... Very strongly. And I got to say, too, when I first heard that... And I sent it to you all that same mm -hmm. that same um, evening. I felt emotional when I heard that, mm -hmm. at the potential that it could have said Ed. I thought the name was Edward at this point. Right. I said mm -hmm. it sounded very close to Edward, but not quite there. But I still felt emotional about it. And then when you told me the name was Edwin, not Edward. Mm. And then like, I, got, I actually got misty-eyed. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very easy to get emotionally attached to these investigations because, um, because this is a very personal thing. And when people say, well, why are you doing this? Are you doing it for a thrill seek? No, we, we look at this as interactive history. Mm. The most interactive history you can think of because yeah. apart from actors, you know, the history is talking back to you. And when you can connect the dots, Telling Edwin's story on our pod on our podcast on our on well his podcast I should say on his podcast on our on our show here that means something to us. It means a lot. Um, it really does. It really does. I I mean I can honestly say I got I got as emotionally attached to this train mystery as I did to TWA. Yeah. And as Phil can yeah. attest, that was a, that was a little bit of an obsession for me. Um, but I'd like to ask you all. So, how was the investigation? How, how have our investigations changed things, if at all, at the candy factory? Oh, they definitely did. How um, so? Well, I mean, I, you have no footage, I think, of the, it seems, of the, the spirit box interaction that we had as the, with, when it was the staff event. You weren't there. Mm -hmm. um, when we were had a very lengthy conversation with Joel. Mm -hmm. Very, oh, very, very backstage. lengthy conversation backstage. You were there. Mm -hmm. um, and he said guns over and over and over mm -hmm. and he said blood everywhere several wow. times yeah. wow so we've had no experience with any edwin we haven't mm -hmm. had an experience with um you know because the train is not you know in our building so right. that's yeah and it, it's not doesn't feel as personal to us because yeah. the train tracks that's not really associated with our building right mm -hmm. um but we had the Mary in the bathroom, yes. and the mm -hmm. sick in the bathroom, yep, and, the sick, and yep. mm -hmm. uh, when uh, when we did the um, the paid event, I was I happened to be in the building as well, and I was with you and 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 your wife, mm -hmm. and we were walking around, and we had some experiences in the bathroom where it seemed like there was a female who was trying to speak, hmm. but was being stopped by a male yes, voice. Yes, yes, and, and, and you know what's interesting? Yeah. yeah, and again because yeah. there was so much spirit box content from yeah. all these investigations and again my hair just started standing yeah. up there were times where i would hear a female voice mm -hmm. say something and then very quickly a male yes. voice and that we definitely and had that experience again us, so. and as i mentioned too there's so much evidence that yes. we will be also sharing more of this out there yeah, through social media and, and youtube and, and i yeah. mean the point i was really trying to make as well is is that we've always felt this presence especially on the third mm -hmm. floor that's where it's really the strongest and it's always felt a little eerie mm -hmm. and every one of us that was there for the staff event specifically felt a sense of relief after having such an actual close encounter where we had a yes. conversation yes you know with several entities that were there and all of us the whole um any uh sense of um, you know doom or eeriness or darkness around mm. it went away that's incredible that's, that's and good. it really was because a result of the of 
the experience we had through you guys, yeah. through the investigation, where we were having this interaction, and what you were saying before as well, where mm -hmm. it was saying your name, yeah, where it kind of feels less like it's this entity that's in the past. They're mm -hmm. actually like right there in mm -hmm. our present. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's been very different. So yeah. I mean, there's a lot of activity up there. I mean, a lot. And like you said as well, it doesn't have to be nighttime. We're, we're there yep, during absolutely. the day yeah, and yeah. you will hear people, you will yeah. hear footsteps. And they're not footsteps like somebody's making actual contact with stuff. It just sounds like somebody's making contact. Sure, they're sure, not yeah. actually physically making Yeah, that's an incredible way to describe it. Yes. Yeah. And so so we, we, we have that maybe more so now than before. Even, but we'll just go, oh, hi, Joel, how you doing? <laughs> yes. I love that. I love that so yeah, it's definitely great. changed um, our experience of it. That's it absolutely incredible. has. So I know for a fact, I know for a fact we've had something of an impact on Rachel because she's actually downloaded the ghost too bad. <laughs> I did before we even I did, did that. Yeah, I yeah, I know. And, I, and, I, and you were for using sure. it there and I was just like, yeah. go, 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 Rachel. I used it in our office. She convinced for, me to download it. There we go. That's yeah. what we want to hear. The bad things <laughs> ensued. But, um, yeah. but I'd like to hear, I've, you've been kind of quiet for most of the night, Victoria. I'd like to know, I'd like to know, and as well as for you, uh, Mary Helen, about your has this experience of us coming in and investigating has it changed your thoughts about the paranormal or about has it has it changed your perspective in any way about how you look at at, at the candy factory or the paranormal uh, in general? Go ahead, Victoria. Um, <laughs> not exactly specific to the candy factory, but I think you know we work on a lot of historic sites mm -hmm. in a lot of historic buildings, and. Um, when we were leaving and how you guys were like, okay, we're gonna go now, y'all stay here. Um, I kind of adapted that in a couple of hours. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Yes. Just cause like, you know, like, they, they, yeah, can't hurt. Yeah, yeah, can't hurt. Exactly. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. I'll be like setting an alarm in one of them and I'll be like, okay, I gotta go now. You stay here. Bye. <laughs> well, if I was like rushing or I was angry, sure, I would sure. try to set the alarm and it wouldn't set. It'd be like motion. I'm yeah. like, I didn't move. But then, Somebody else so, but ever since I started doing Edwin. that, it lets me set the alarm, no yeah. problem. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I respect you. You're We're all good here. I love that. That's great to know. No, that, no, this is, this is all great to hear. And what about, and what about you, Mary Helen? Well, I, I am convinced that I live in a house. This, the gentleman that owned the house before me um, mm -hmm. died there in a fire. Oh, he was 28. Oh, 28? Yeah. Wow, old yeah. boy. And so be at your house by midnight. I mean, are we, so yeah. we can be there <laughs> house yeah, yeah, exactly. We do, we do house calls, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I have, uh, he's he's definitely there. I've always yeah. felt his presence, hearing things, just all the weird stuff that happens. Yeah. And I did download the Ghost app and only used it once and will never use it in the house again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Smart move. Um, Smart but move. yeah, I think, you know, it just confirmed what you know, the staff have been telling us, I've never had an experience at the candy factory. Interesting. Um, okay. I'm not over there a lot. So right, there we um, go. I have I've been at our Liberia house before and, and been downstairs and thought, I'm not in here alone. You just mm -hmm. know you're not. You just mm -hmm. feel that. Like, yeah. okay, now I'm not right. sure about myself anymore. Yeah, and my, the last thing I'll say as a takeaway is it's, it's a really special place. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. There is plenty more to explore. And I, for one, am really looking forward to coming back well, in April. We feel awesome. safe, yeah. so yeah. we're very eager to have you guys back. That's yeah. always, it's always nice to hear that you're welcome back, yeah, especially about the living. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here at Old Spirits for this investigation of the Candy Factory, a location we will be returning to on April 21st, as we are hosting a new public event. Details found at the link in the description below. And while there, leave us your thoughts on the Candy Factory investigation, as well as this new format of one investigation across two episodes. And like and subscribe to the channel, as we want to keep you in the know of whenever we put up new content. Thanks again for watching. From all of us here at OSI, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.